Add that to your gay agenda, Maddie. Pushing that gay agenda forward all the time. Yeah. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the New Power Paradigm. This is Mariana. I'm joined today with my lovely co-host, Dan. Dan. Mm -hmm. I think that's your name. <laughs> um, so today we're going to be continuing our Pillow Talk series. We're mm -hmm. back in my bed, on my bed, uh, in my room. And we are doing movies and TV shows today. So movies and TV shows that focus on uh, queer people of color. Our beautiful and lovely uh, other co-host, Raphael, is still on vacation. We're still waiting for that key. Still waiting for that key. Um, we're still not bitter about it, you know? We're just... No, we're just... We're not bitter about it at we're all. Just we're just trying to live our lives. Yeah. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> uh, so, um, how, do you feel okay if I start this off? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. All right, for sure. Go ahead. Um, so, my first recommendation is a movie called Mosquita y Mari. It's by... It's directed by Aurora Guerrero. And it's basically the a story of two uh, Mexican-American teenagers in the U.S. They're discovering their sexuality together. Um, but they, because they are, they, because they are Mexican, Mexican culture is not the most welcoming when it comes to queer people. So they're basically discovering their sexuality together, figuring out if they, if this relationship is something that they want to pursue. Um, and it's a very sweet, very tender movie. Um, I, if you're, if you're into that type of thing, I definitely recommend that you go watch it. Diane, what about you? I will definitely watch that. Mm -hmm. Um, so when I'm thinking of queer a queer movie um one of the the first names for the first titles that pops into my head is rent obviously mm -hmm. no day but today no day but today my friends so rent is um based on the, obviously the musical rent mm -hmm. but the film was in 2005 and i think directed by chris columbus yeah if i'm not mistaken yeah. it is um so obviously the movie's about a lot of things <laughs> but um it centers on i mean it deals with the aids crisis and you have a couple of queer couples, so queer couples. So you have Maureen and Joanne, Tom and Angel, and Angel is a trans woman. Just a great, it's, there's a great, it's a great cast of characters, mm -hmm. and it's a great musical, and it'll make you cry. Yeah, yeah, so good. Mm -hmm. uh, my next recommendation is uh, Margarita with a Straw. It's directed by uh, Shanoli Bose. Um, and it's the story about a woman who um, who lives in India with her family. Um, she has um, a couple of physical disabilities and a couple of uh, learning disabilities. And her family is very protective of her to the point where she can't really breathe. She can't be, really be herself. Um, and against like her family's wishes, she decides to leave the family and go to the U.S. to study. Um, and in in this like process of self-discovery and like you know learning to be independent like fully independent for the first time um she she meets a a woman uh she meets a black woman um they fall in love and it's like a really sweet beautiful movie um i don't think you've watched it i have not no Raphael, our other co-host our lovely co-host um he recommended it to me he would not stop pestering me until i watched it i finally did and i do not regret it it was such a great movie it's on netflix it's right? on it's, it's on canadian on netflix. netflix i know what i'm watching i cried it was so great all all the queer movies tv shows make you cry yeah <laughs> Um, my next recommendation is a TV episode. Mari, can you guess? Ooh, baby, do you know what that's worth? Ooh, heaven is a place on earth. Is it San Junipero? It's San Junipero. Yes, because if not, that musical would have been really awkward. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so it's a season three, episode yes, four of so Black great. Mirror, which is a British science fiction anthology series. Um, so each episode is different, so you don't have to watch it in order mm -hmm. at all. Um, season three has the one with the most episodes, but season, episode four, it's the most so cheerful bad. of, of Black Mirror episodes. It's a because, really, it's a really sad series. A lot yeah, of it's very bleak. Very bleak. <laughs> very bleak episodes. It's good. But uh, yes, yeah, so this this episode is set in a beach resort uh, called San Junipero, uh, beach resort town. Yeah. It's, a, it's a beach town. Beach town, mm -hmm. yeah, San Junipero. And it's about these two women, so you have Yorkie, who's a white woman who falls in love with Kelly, who's a mm -hmm. black woman, and that's all I'm gonna say because you should watch the show, yeah. and you know because it's a the science fiction. Anything series. else would be a spoiler. Um, yeah. it's a fucking fantastic. It's show. amazing. It's a fantastic episode. Mm -hmm. It's so good. 
Um, I think my next recommendation is going to be Eat With Me. Uh, it's directed by David Ao. Um, and it is the story of a uh, of this man. He's Asian American. He has a restaurant. Um, his life isn't really going that great. He's, he's having a really hard time like uh, making ends meet with his restaurant um, his restaurant is failing and he really wants to see his like restaurant thrive and succeed um, and through through his uh, like the obstacles of like trying to like establish like a successful uh, business he meets uh, he meets a man they fall in love it's really cute it's really sweet and I got really hungry because like, they make like really tasty looking dumplings <laughs> yay um, so my next uh, recommendation is the Babadook. <laughs> yes, because the Babadook is a queer icon. I swear, the first time I saw this horror movie, this psychological horror film, I was like, you know what? I'm going to write essays because, you know, this, like, it, it shows talks about depression. Depression and anxiety and, yes. like, grief and... But Babadook? What? A queer icon. <laughs> the queer icon. Yes. Uh -huh. Serving up those Babadooks. Yes. Making people baba shook. <laughs> exactly. Okay, no, seriously, I have, <laughs> I have an actual recommendation. No, no, seriously, but watch the baba duck. <laughs> watch the baba duck. Um, <laughs> um, uh, because as a queer, you can recognize another queer. Exactly. And... Exactly. You know a queer icon when you see one, and when you watch the baba duck, you'll know. You'll know. Um, so then, well, I have Debs mm -hmm. or D E B S, which is a two thousand four action romance. Um, movie that I watched a couple years ago. Um, it's kind of like a Charlie's Angels type film, but the romance in it is between a woman, uh, between a woman and a woman, and they're from opposing sides. Ooh, yeah, and there are some women of color. Julia. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and there are some women of color in it, but I don't think the romance happens between a woman of color. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Politely down below. Down below. Um, but it's a, I, I really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't seen that one. It's iconic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think my next recommendation is going to be Pariah. It's directed by mm -hmm. uh, Dee Reese. Um, it's definitely a tougher film to watch. Um, it's about a black woman in the U.S. She's discovering her sexuality, but you know her. There's every everyone's queer identity is different. It comes in a multitude of definitions, and for her. Her definition of queer her, um, is she's a very masculine woman, um, and and that's 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 what she likes, and so she's trying to that's who she is, you know, not that, not what she likes, it's who she is. So she's trying to you know seek uh, validation and acceptance from like her family and her friends. Um, definitely one of the tough. It's not it's not a light hearted movie. There's a lot of a lot of emotion behind it. Um, so you know, watch it at your discretion, but it's. It's. I think it's a really great movie. I haven't seen that one either, mm -hmm. but I've heard about it, so I'm excited to watch it. Adding it to it. Mari and uh, our friend uh, Carmen uh, recommended this Japanese sports anime. Um, they made me watch it, and I'm so glad they did yes. because Yuri! Exclamation point! Exclamation point! Exclamation point! <laughs> on ice is the greatest thing. It's the the, one of the greatest is. things I've ever yeah. seen. Yuri Katsuki, he is the titular character. He uh, has a lot of anxiety, and unfortunately, during a really important qualifying event, um, his anxiety gets so bad that he messes up his performance, and he doesn't move on to like the next round. So he flies back to Japan. He uh, falls into a really deep depression. He stops skating professionally, um, and for for fun, he memorizes the uh, the choreography of of Viktor Nikiforov who is like the best male skater in in, uh, mm -hmm. in, in the world. Um, so his friends film him doing it uh, and they post it online and the video goes viral. Uh, Victor, who is in Russia, who is like skates for Team Russia, he sees the video, he quits his team, he leaves his country, he flies to Japan, he <laughs> confronts Yuri and he's like, I'm gonna make you the best skater in the world. Um, so. This is one of my favorite animes because it's just, it's so gay. Mm -hmm. It's, so, it's great. so great. But it's also, it's it's just like, it is so well done. Like the, the dance, the, the and detail. The music. Oh, oh man. And like beautiful. other animes are, are gay if you are queer or if you like squint and kind of tilt your head. <laughs> But this one is like a hundred percent. There's like mm -hmm. the, there is no uh, reading between the lines and mm -hmm. seeing the nuance. Like no, these are two men who fall in love with each other, and it's, for sure, it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. Yeah.
That was supposed to be rapid fire. That was kind of long. <laughs> Sorry. Um, one of my quick recommendations is um, I Can't Think Straight. It's directed by uh, Shamin Sharif. It's, it's a, a love story between two women, uh, two women of color. Uh, they fall in love. It's great. Watch it. I have Shadowhunters, mm -hmm. which is a fantasy drama series ba loosely based on The Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare. It's not the greatest TV show, I'd say, but I love it so much. Mm -hmm. I'm obsessed with it, because, uh, especially because there's a queer couple, and um, one of them is Asian, and it's just like, it's so good. It's, it's just so good. good. My next recommendation is uh, Front Cover. It's directed by uh, Ray Young. Um, so it's the, he, uh, the main character is an assistant at a fashion magazine, um, and he's gay, he's out, he's Asian, he loves his life, it's fantastic. Um, and he is in charge of taking care of uh, an actor that the magazine is hosting. He's like a rising star. Um, and this guy, this actor, is, uh, is gay and he's in the closet and he can't afford to come out because he thinks that it'll ruin his career. Um, so, lo and behold, they fall in love and it's really good. Yeah, do you have anything else that you want to um, recommend? Obviously, Sense8. Mm -hmm. It's an amazing show. Um, I'm sure you've all heard mm -hmm. about Sense8, but uh, I'm really excited about the... Because it was canceled after season two aired, but yeah. we, we got... Uh, we They announced that they're going to do a two-hour series it's finale. finale. So, so I'm so like, so happy. Yeah. Um, but what I really want to talk about is The Get Down really quickly. Yeah. Um, oh, The Get Down, which also got canceled. I don't know what the fuck Netflix was thinking, yeah. but that's yeah. another conversation. I'm still waiting for, for a six-hour... I'm still waiting for the announcement of a six-hour series finale because give it to me, Baz Luhrmann. You can okay? do it. I know you, you can have do it. I know you can do it. Mm -hmm. All right, fan... Fan pressure works, mm. um, but it's basically it's a drama set in the 1970s Bronx um, about the rise of hip hop and disco, and that's all I'm going to say because you need to watch it. It's really good. Mm -hmm. That does it for this episode. Uh, let us know in the comments down below uh, what you're watching. Mm -hmm. um, anything that you think that's really important that we should uh, know. Always, I'm, I'm we're always open for yeah, recommendations. For sure. So please. Yes, and also let us know if you like this Pillow Talk series. Let us know if you like mm -hmm. whispering sweet nothings to you. In your, in your ear holes. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So from my room to you, wherever you are, thank you for watching. Wow. And have a great day. Bye. Bye.